I can't believe this old thermal camera still works after putting it back together. It's like 20 years old. Holy crap. Several months ago, somebody sent me this old thermal camera in pieces. I believe they said that they could never get it to work, and so they took it apart trying to fix it. But most of the time when that happens, that it, the thing still works. It's just the person doesn't know how to use it. So let's just try putting it back together and seeing what it needs. That maybe. So that spins, and I guess what would that be? An attenuator or something? I'm not sure. It seems we're missing something that would be connecting into here. Not sure what that is. Oh. There we go. Looks like that is a small pinhole camera. That's interesting. So. Oh uh, yeah, it has visual and infrared, so you can switch between visual and IR. That's interesting. Actually, I guess we don't need this in here. It's a viewfinder. There is audio video out, but I guess VF would also be viewfinder, so that can go there. And now the person said that it runs off of a camcorder battery. And think about the camcorder battery has negative and positive. It looks like it goes here, so this is positive. Now let's turn on the power and crank it up to uh, 6 volts. Whoa. Okay. Oh. So it looks like the video signal from this is dead. But the infrared might still work. Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, look at that. It works. See, I told you. I fucking told you. It still works. You just have to know how to fiddle with it. And the answer is not taking it apart. The answer is just learning how to use the device. There's been so many things like this where I find the trash and people don't know how it works. But it does work. Check that out. So cool. Okay. I'll turn up the contrast. Oh, that already was up. Never mind. Contrast all the way up. Look at that. Oh my god. So this is a working old thermal camera. I have newer ones, but I don't have older ones. That's interesting about the LCD being burnt there. Uh, looks like you can do... Um, actually... I can set that there. I should be able to set that. Okay. That works. Mono. Ooh. Whoa. Check that out. There's like a reddish. Just the focus on the lens. Okay, so that's focusing out. Should get a pretty wide. Oh, there we go. So it can actually go pretty close. And we adjust the ISO position. Oh my god. You can actually find different temperatures. Oh, look down at the bottom. You can see it going through all the colors. That's so cool. Uh, contrast. Whoa. You can really crank the contrast up. 
this is so cool. Okay, so looks like I might end up with a camera that'll work. So we just turn off and it turns off. And the person was nice enough to include all the screws. So this should be pretty simple. I'll just take all this stuff apart. Honestly, I was kind of afraid that I would never be able to actually use this because I thought it actually was broken and I would just waste days and days looking for some burnt resistor or whatever, but this is promising. It's hard to tell which screw goes to what part. Oh, comes with little dials. So that's mostly together now. I think we should do a little test. I have this soldering iron heating up. Let me just get this going. I just realized I have it all flipped around. So this goes over here. That goes there. Okay, there we go. Look at that. This is so cool. Okay, so one more piece. This would allow me to hook these camcorder batteries up to it. Okay, so this has a hole for that. Oh my god, it has a tripod mount. I didn't even realize that. Now that is cool. Okay, so like that. Honestly, this is my first fully dedicated thermal camera because all the other ones require a phone or something. And this one you just turn it on and it goes. I think I can take my Thermap handle and I could do it like that. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh my god, this is so fucking awesome. And I think the output is actually something similar to NTSC. So this might actually be higher resolution than my Thermap. Holy crap. Oh, I'm almost forgetting that it has a lens cover. Looks like this actually broke off. So this is, has a little spring-loaded bit on it. And that would connect to here. Yeah. But oh well, that's still cool. Now there's just one last thing to do. Make sure this thing runs at 8.4 volts that blowing up. So we can use it with lithium ion batteries. It's good enough. have to be careful now because this piece of metal here is conductive whereas before it was like a piece of wood so I didn't want these two to arc over. Since the camera can handle 8.4 volts and only pulls about 1.1 amps, let's use some 18650s. These are lower quality ones rated for about 1600 milliamp hour. So let's put the 1700 and the 1500 together and this two 1600s together. We'll make this a two series, two parallel pack. And it should give almost three hours of power for the camera. Come to think of it, a square configuration would do a lot better. So there we go. So 
So I took the little nickel strips from other 18650s and I found some pieces that would work good for contactors. What I'm doing is I'm putting them into this piece of plastic and then I'm melting the metal into the plastic with the soldering iron. Well, we've run into a sizable issue. This pogo pin doesn't pogo anymore, and so it won't come out to connect to this connector I made. I want to try just soldering directly to the pogo pins since they're dead. But I'll solder to the outside of them so they still work somewhat. Well, I found the issue. It was these fuses. They'd already popped for some reason, but I just got them out of the package. It's so weird. So I guess I can just solder a paper clip across and that should be good enough. Okay, I got it on there. I just had to do some rough maintenance on my soldering iron. The tip is so corroded I just snapped the end off and now it'll work better. Now it lights up, so that's good. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. It, it works at least. Now I have this battery from another camcorder, but it doesn't have the same base and so I can't use it. But if I ever get this apart, I might be able to take the back off this and put it on there to cover this up. For now though, it's fine to have that connected on there because I can just charge it while it's on there. Symbol! It's so cool. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!